I want to look at drawing an orbital overlap diagram showing all of the sigma and pi bonds for a molecule as well as some other information and we're going to use this molecule as our example and the very important first thing we need to do before we start this process is we need to start with a correct Lewis structure and that's what I've drawn here. Once we have our correct Lewis structure the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill in all of the sigma bonds and I've actually done that in this structure I've shown all of the carbons hydrogens and oxygens connected by sigma bonds because even when we do have a sigma bond a double bond in a molecule there's also a sigma bond present there's a sigma and a pi bond present in a double bond we also want to show the electrons that make up these bonds because a bond is a pair of shared electrons so we probably want to go to a structure I've got the same structure except I've shown all of the electrons drawn in for my sigma bond and we can label these as sigma bonds of course I have to switch my um, font to um, the proper one and I could label all of these bonds as sigma and I can also if I wanted to label that the bond angle here is going to be approximately 120 degrees so I've got a sigma bond approximately 120 I could also put 120 here and so on. Once we've labeled all of our sigma bonds, we put in all of the appropriate bond angles around central atoms, we can then draw in our pi bonds. And you'll remember that pi bonds are made up of overlapping p orbitals. So if we look at the structure over here, there are there is a pi bond between these two carbons. So I will put a p orbital here and a p orbital here and to show that they're overlapping I'll just draw a line between these two like that. Now I should put a pair of electrons in there it's a little bit difficult to say where do I put the electrons I'm just going to show the pair of electrons here. I could have put one electron in each orbital and that's probably the more common way to do it I'm just showing them being shared between the two orbitals here. Um, I also have a pi bond between the carbon and the oxygen. I will draw that in as well. Put my p orbital there. My p orbital on the carbon. And I will connect those two. And again, I would label this as a pi bond and switching to the proper font. And I can label the other one as a pi bond also. Uh, font symbol. So I've drawn in all of my sigma and my pi bonds. I've labeled all of the sigma bonds. I've actually only labeled one here. If you were doing this, you would go through the process of labeling them all. I've drawn in my p orbitals to make up my pi bonds, and I've labeled my pi bonds. You'll get plenty of practice doing this in lab. This is just an example of what you're going to be doing in lab.